Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain you how can I increase the thickness of a line, like this example that I show you here. So, there are several methods to do this, and I'm going to show you one of the most common ones, and it will be to change the width of a polyline. We are going to type P edit, press enter. Let's select this polyline, but be aware that this only works in polylines. So if you have lines here, you need to convert them, for example, with the command join. So let's select the polyline, and now I'm going to click here where it says width. And I can specify a new width for this polyline. For example, I will type 450 because it's the diameter of the sewer and press enter. After escape to exit the edit. So, as you see, it was very easy. Now, I'm going to select again this polyline, right click, and go to properties. Here, where it says global width, I can see my new thickness of 450. If I double click here, I can change it. For example, 200. I click in different place and I notice that now the thickness is different. If I don't want a width anymore, I can just type 0 here. And as you see, now it looks like as it was before. Now, let's look to a different situation. Imagine that we want this polyline to have a specific width in our paper when we print a drawing. And actually to do this is very simple. Select the polyline, go to the section of properties, click in this tab, and now I can choose my specific width and it's called by AutoCAD Align Weight. Let's choose one millimeter. And oh, it looks like nothing happened. And this is because AutoCAD by default doesn't show the line weights, but they will be there if you print a drawing. Anyway, if you want to view the line weights of each object, you have to click in this icon show and hide line weight. But be aware, when we print, it may not look exactly what it looks here in the model, because it depends on the paper size that you use. Also, if you cannot see this icon in the status bar, you have to go to the top right, click in this one, and you should find it in this list. One last thing in this tutorial. If we want the same line weight for all the objects in one layer, you only need to go to the Layer Properties Manager. I go, for example, to Change on the layer Pavement. I click here in Line Weight and choose the weight that I want. Now click in OK. And you can see that all the objects of these layers have now a specific line weight. So, it was everything in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And if you need extra help, I can provide you online private lessons for beginners. Just send me an email and I will specify you all the details. Thank you and see you next time.